So to get started, we're going to grab our base color. We're going to make a slip knot. Grab our five millimeter hook. And we're going to start off by making a chain that's going to come out to the butterfly's body. And mine is going to be six inches, but this is going to vary depending on what size you need the butterfly wings to be. Because if you have a bigger bust, you're going to want this to be bigger for you. Once we have our chain, we're going to block off that last loop. Chain up one. And we're going to put one single crochet into that loop that we blocked off. And then this next part is going to be different for everyone depending on how many loops you have in your chain. But from here, we're just going to start off with single crochet. And then the closer we get to the middle, we're going to start doing half double crochet and then double crochet because we're going to want the middle to be a little bit fatter. So for me, I'm just going to be putting two single crochet. And then I'm going to put five half double crochet. Once when I have my five half double crochet, I'm going to be putting nine double crochet. And this goes well past the middle mark. So once we're done with our nine double crochet, we're going to do the same pattern that we did on this side, just on the opposite side. So for me, that's going to be five half double crochet and then two single crochet. And then we're going to do an increase of three once when we get to this last loop. But I'll show you how to do that once when we get there. So we are at our last loop that we have in this chain and we're just going to do an increase of three. So we're going to put three single crochet into that last loop. And then once we have our increase of three, we're going to turn our work and we're going to start working down the other way of our chain that we have. And we're going to do the same thing that we did on this side, just on the other side. So from here, I'm going to be doing my two single crochet, five half double, nine double, five half double, two single crochet, and then we're going to do another increase of three just to make it even on this side. So I'll meet you back once we make it to the other end. And then once we've made it to the end, like I said, we're going to do another increase of three. So into that last loop, we're going to be putting three single crochet. And then from here, we're just going to insert our hook into the next loop that we have with a slip stitch, chain up one and cut. So this is what we should have so far once when we have cut and tied. And now we're just going to section off the corners and then we're just going to be doing a row of single crochet on one side. And what I like to do, this is going to be different for everyone, but what I like to do is count the middle loop, the one where we did our increase and then count out five insert my hook and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side and then in between where my hook is and then where that point is I'm just going to do a row of single crochet going across. So we just got done doing a row of single crochet going across one side and we did cut and tie and then I also went ahead and figured out where the middle point was within this row of single crochet. So I counted from one end and then the middle point is actually this one right here but then I moved up one and then put in my spacer and then this side is going to be where the head is and this bottom part that has that extra loop is going to be where the bottom is. So from here, we're going to insert our hook not into where this first marker is. But we're actually going to count out two loops. So here's one and two. We're going to insert our hook into that second loop. And we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook. Chain up one to secure. And then once when our hook is nice and secure, we're going to take out that marker. And then we're going to prepare for a double crochet and then go into that loop that we just took the marker out of with a double crochet. And then I'm going to put seven double crochet into that one loop. And then once we have our seven double crochet, we're going to count up two loops. So here's one, insert your hook into that second one with a slip stitch. And then from here, we're going to slip stitch up the next two loops. Flip our work and then we're going to be putting more double crochet into every loop here but we're going to be doing increases now so we're going to prepare for a double crochet and put two double crochet into every loop that we have once we have our row of double crochet with increases in every loop we're going to connect it to the body portion so we're going to count up two loops here's one here's two insert your hook with a slip stitch and we're going to do another row of increases so we're going to slip stitch up the next two flip our work and then these increases aren't going to be two into every loop it's going to be an increase into every other loop so prepare for a double crochet we're going to start off by putting two into the first loop one into the loop after and then two into the next and then we're going to keep doing this until we make it down to this end and we're going to connect with a slip stitch so we now have three rows of double crochet with increases into the last two rows and then from here, we're going to do another row of increases, but this is going to have an increase of three into this top corner. 
so that our wing can come to a point. So I went ahead and slip stitched up our next two loops and these are my last two loops but this will be different for everyone. If this isn't your last two loops then that's fine. We're going to flip our work. We're going to prepare for a double crochet. We're going to start off with doing two double crochet into the first loop. And then we're going to put one double crochet into the next loop, one double crochet into the loop after that. And then into the loop after that, we're going to do our increase. And then there's not going to be a number count for this, so I'm just going to put my increase of three into this next loop. Just as long as it's in a corner that faces upwards, we'll be good. So go ahead and put three double crochet into that loop. And then once when we're about to do with the rest of this, we're actually going to disregard this increase of three and then just go off of whatever we did right before that. So we have an increase of two right here. So we're just going to go ahead and pick up where we left off. So put one double crochet into the next two loops and increase into the loop after that and then keep doing that all the way down. So I just got done doing my last row of increases with our increase of three into this corner and then for me I'm actually going to start doing the bottom of the butterfly but this is going to depend on how many single crochet you put into your butterfly body and also how big you need your cup to be because this right here is going to be the cup so if you guys need more of this then go ahead and keep doing these rows until you have just about a couple of loops left down here just like how I have and then I'll show you guys what to do from there so once we're here we're going to slip stitch into our last few loops that we have. I just so happen to have three and that works out perfectly. What we're going to do is flip our work and then into this loop right here, right where this slip stitch of three and our arc meet, we're going to be putting double crochet into that gap. And I'm just going to put a total of five double crochet. And once we have our five double crochet, now we're just going to be working into this little wing that goes underneath. So we're going to chain up three, flip our work, and we're going to put one increase into every loop that we have. So prepare for a double crochet and put two double crochet into every loop. So this is what we should have for the bottom of our wing and now we're going to start tapering it in. So we're going to chain up three, flip our work, prepare for a double crochet and we're going to be putting decreases into each end. So how we decrease is prepare for a double crochet, insert your hook into the first loop, yarn over, pull through, into the next loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're going to put one double crochet into every loop, leaving the last three because we're going to do another decrease. So we have three loops left, like I said, so we're going to prepare for a double crochet, insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, into the next loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, pull through two. And then put one double crochet into that last loop. And then we're going to keep going this way, just putting a decrease into both ends until it tapers in completely. And then once when it comes to a complete point, we're just going to chain up one and cut. So this is what we should have so far. And now we're going to start working on this part of the wing. So all we're going to do is insert our hook into the same loop that the very first single crochet is in, or the last, whichever. <laughs> but we're just going to insert our hook through there insert our yarn, pull through, chain up one to secure. And then for the next three rows, all we're going to do is try and get this increase of three point just to come up to a point as high as possible and also have this cover our chest. So what we're going to do from here, we're going to start with single crochets and then work our way up to half double crochets to double crochets to our increase of three and then continue to do the same thing. So double crochet, half double crochet down to single crochet down this way. And then we're going to keep going back and forth just like that until this comes to a nice point and also is big enough to cover you. So let's just show you guys how to do this really quick. So we're going to insert our hook into the first loop and do a single crochet to secure. And this is going to be different for everyone. I'm just going to show you guys the general consensus of how to do this. So we're going to do a couple single crochet. And then if you take a look, this is where our increase of three is. So we're pretty close to it. So I'm going to start doing half double crochets because we are going to want to get to double crochets by the time we get there. So I'm just going to do about two half double crochets. And then I'm going to do double crochets until I get to this increase of three. And then I'm going to do an increase of three once when I get to the middle point. 
So this is our increase of three. As you can see, this is our middle point right here, and this is our loop. So once we get there, all we're gonna do is do another increase of three into that middle loop. And once we have that, we're gonna continue on doing our basically freehand version of the rest of this. So just double crochets until you think that we should do half double crochets and then go all the way down to single crochets until we get down to this point but leaving the last two or three loops because I'll show you guys how to do that once we get there. So we went ahead and went all the way around with our double crochets to half double crochets to single crochets and we left the last two loops right here just like I said and into these last two loops we're actually going to start doing this for both sides on this side and over here but into these last two loops we're going to do a decrease so insert your hook yarn over pull through insert your hook into the next loop pull through yarn over pull through all three and from here we're going to chain up one flip our work and then we're going to put decreases on both ends so into the next loop pull through next loop pull through pull through all three and then we're going to continue on with this pattern of single crochet to half double to double maintain our increase of three and then double half double single and then decrease down here and then we're going to keep doing this pattern until this is big enough to cover your bust and from the last row on we're not going to be doing any increases or anything we only did that for the first few rows but we're doing that because we do want this to cup ourselves so go ahead and do that and i'll meet you back once we have that done so we have one half of most of our butterfly done as you guys can see i went until i didn't need to anymore but now we're just going to add in some detail along the side so i'm going to go in with a different color you guys don't have to if you don't want to this isn't necessary to the actual design but we're going to grab our white yarn and we're going to insert our hook into the same loop that our first bit of our butterfly wing color is yarn over pull through chain up one to secure and then from here we're going to be putting a row of single crochet around everything i'll show you guys what to do once we get to this point but we're going to be putting a single crochet into every loop until we get to these loops where we regularly work into them and we're going to be doing an increase into every other loop so we're going to put one single crochet into all of these weird side double crochet loops and then once we get here we're going to put one single crochet two into the next and then one single crochet two into the next and then we're going to do that all the way until we hit this increase of three once when we hit this we're going to do an increase of three into this middle loop and we're going to continue that pattern all the way down and i'll show you guys what to do once we get down here so we've done our single crochet row all the way around and as you guys can see we have two loops left on this big wing and then we're going to be doing a decrease in order to get to this smaller under wing into that last loop that we have on the big wing insert yarn over pull through then we're going to do the same thing on this end but it's not going to be a loop it's going to be a side double crochet so insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through three yarn over pull through two and then that is how we decrease in order to get to the smaller portion and then from here we're going to do the same thing so just do a row of single crochet along this bottom part so doing our single crochets we made it to this corner and we're going to do the same thing that we did up here which is basically just put three single crochet just into this corner and from here we're going to turn our work and work along the bottom side and then we're just going to be putting more single crochet into each of these side double crochet and then we're going to insert our hook in through where this color meets the body portion and then do a slip stitch into there and cut and tie so this is what we should have so far and next we're going to be introducing our next color if you guys want so i'm going to be using this mustard color we're going to grab it make a slip knot we're going to start up here again and we're going to go into the same loop that we went in for our first bit of our wing and the first bit of our white color and from here we're going to chain up one to secure and then this row of this other color is going to be similar like how we did our last row so it's going to be a freehand single crochet to half double to double still maintaining our increase of three and then double half double single and then we're going to do a decrease once we get down here but i'll show you guys how to do that once we get there and then same thing over here of our single half double double increase double half double single so go ahead and do that 
while maintaining the increase of three right here and i'll show you guys how to decrease once when we get there so we've made it down to where we're going to do our decrease and we left one loop into the body one loop into the middle and then one loop into the smaller wing so all we're going to do is do a decrease of three so yarn over pull through into the middle loop yarn over pull through then one into the small wing yarn over pull through yarn over pull through three yarn over pull through two and then from here continue doing the same pattern of single crochet to half double to double increase of three here and then double half double single and then once when we get here we're going to connect into the same loop that we've been connecting into and we're going to chain up one and cut so we're now finished doing our last row of color now we're going to go in with our body color to just finish this off so we're going to make our slip knot and then we've been going into this loop that has all these colors into it now we're going to go into the loop after that since we're using our body color insert our hook pull through chain up one to secure and then this is going to be the same as every other row so this is just going to be a row of single crochet with just a little bulb in each increase so one down here and one right here and then we're going to maintain the decrease right here in the middle so i'll show you what to do once we get to this first increase that we have so we finally got into the middle of our increase of three and like i said we're going to do a little bulb so all we're going to do is put one single crochet in there we're going to chain up five and then we're going to put one single crochet into the same loop that we're in and then that's how we're going to do the other increase down here as well once we get to the middle we're going to do a chain of five put a single crochet into the same loop and then connect down with a slip stitch but don't cut and tie because we have one more row to do after this so once we made it all the way around with our bulbs and just single crochet we have one more row of border to do so all we're going to do is chain up one flip our work and then this last row is going to be the same as all these other rows so it's going to start off with single crochets gradually make our way up to half doubles and then doubles and then we're going to do a little double crochet bulb right here but i'll show you guys how to do that once when we get there so we've done our row all the way up until we've gotten to our bulbs and like i said we put a chain of five right here and i'm just going to be putting five double crochet into this middle loop for now so go ahead and put five once we have our five i'm going to be chaining one and then putting another five into the same loop and then once we have that we're going to continue doing the rest of the pattern so singles half doubles doubles decrease singles half doubles doubles do our double crochet bulb and then work our way back down once we get down here go ahead and chain up one and cut so this is what we got once we have one wing done and we're going to do all of this but mirrored on the other side so just make sure that we keep our increases of three going up this way make sure this guy stays pointed down here and then just keep every single thing the same so i'll meet you back once we have all of this done so this is what we should have once we have both sides done and one of the last things that we have to do is actually just make a back strap and in order to do that we're just going to insert our hook into where we did the chain one in between the five double crochets that we did on this bulb and we're just going to make a really 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 long chain because this is going to have a strappy back and i'm just going to make a chain of 75 inches cut that and do the same thing on this side and once when you have your straps connected the last thing that you have to do is weave in all of your ends when we're done weaving in our ends this is our butterfly crop top there is an endless amount of colors and patterns and back strap ties that you can do to make this all your own and that is what i love about this top and go ahead and head over to instagram and search tcd diy to see how else we did this up and if y'all remake it be sure to tag at tcd diy and if you guys love this piece or any other piece on the channel, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It's right beneath the video. It lets YouTube and I know that you're enjoying the videos and it goes a long way to helping the channel grow so we can keep gaining some traction. But if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down, but please leave a comment letting me know why you didn't like it. Or if you have any questions, want to leave requests, or if you just want to say what's up, go ahead and leave a comment too. I reply pretty quick. If you love it, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, it's right beneath the video too. It'll let you know when there's a new video uploaded to the channel, get you a bit more priority when it comes to requests, and it goes a long way to helping the channel grow so I can keep making these great videos for you guys. 
If you're already subscribed, huge thanks to you guys, but please hit that notification bell to know when there's a new upload for you right away, and please share with your crafty friends, every bit helps. Links to the yarn and the hooks will be in the description if you buy something using those links that also goes towards helping out the channel. Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest links are down there too, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.